Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Wood, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can get hold of Tim every trading day at Ord hyphen oracle.com that's odd hyphen oracle.com tim Ord, hope you had a great uh, thanksgiving lots of turkey lots of ham lots of food <laughs> yeah yeah a little bit too much i like to eat and that's my problem you, me too but man i'm telling you man family here so uh everything everything went well that's what about yourself it's i cooked two turkeys <laughs> <laughs> for leftovers yeah, over, huh? yeah i loved it two turkeys plenty of stuff in plenty of yeah it's pretty cool okay so market wise uh, i have your charts which which do you want to start with number one yeah just start with one actually kind of you want to look at the bigger picture and kind of work back and see where you are in the bigger picture okay awesome and and uh, we talked about this chart before, so we're kind of just updating it. Yes. But fr from the 2020 low up to the 2022 high, uh, the market pulled back uh, right at 50% retracement. Yes. And so if it pulled back down to 61.8% retracement, that would imply at best you might see a double top, but it's only did 50% retracement. And actually, well, in a day it hit 50, but... Uh, it closed actually above uh, the 50, but okay. anyhow, we we had a rally up, and now, in my opinion, we're making a right shoulder of a head and shoulders bottom, and we probably completed the shoulder uh, in October. Uh, we had, uh, on the monthly chart, there was support around 4,200, and on the uh, weekly chart, there was support around uh, 4,100, oh. and actually, the weekly hit right on the money, the monthly hit right on the money. And now we're having a, a, a decent rally off the October low, and uh, we're going up. And, and now you you guys say, okay, so where were, are we? And so you go down to the bottom window. Yes. And if you, if you go back and look at the last top in uh, October of 2021, which is that kind of shaded pink area. Okay. Uh, I, I noted you, you, you went up, made higher highs on the S&Ps there. But if you look at the... Uh, bottom window, which is the SPX VIX ratio, Yes, you made lower highs. Right, I see that. And Yeah, so you got a bearish divergence there, and actually we got out in that, um, that late, actually December of 2021, we kind of stayed out, and uh, didn't, oh yeah, we got out. So now, you look at where we are right now, the S&Ps have not hit above the previous highs yet, which is up around that 4,600. If you notice down at the bottom, which is that light blue area, I, the uh, SPX VIX ratio made a higher high. That, well, the ratios lead the SPs. Right. So what what that implies, the SPs will hit a higher high above the previous high. And when or, you're looking at this, folks, this is so cool. You just go down to the very bottom. You're going to be able to see where the arrow, first, Tim put the arrow where the first high was, right? And you can see that that ratio had gone down and then when you go over for the second arrow you can see how much higher it is this is pretty cool tim wow amazing yeah actually. it's pretty cool well there's there's more to say here too no i got a, a dotted line across the, around the 4600 area okay i see and, it yep. and that that dotted line rep represents the neckline okay and the dotted line is actually the the previous highs we hit back in looks like about july of this year and the market fell back. And so now we're going up to that test that July high. Well, you already know you're going to broke it, break it because the bottom window says uh, the SPX VIX ratio already made a higher high, suggesting the S&Ps will make a higher high. Yes. That implies you're going to break the neckline, right? Yes. So now, now if you break the neckline, uh, you, you need it with a sign of strength to really confirm a head and shoulders bottom. Right, but you already know you're going to break the neckline. So, this this current rally uh, has started in November. Probably going to run into December, and I bet you that we will break that neckline 4600 with a sign of strength. And if you do, that confirms the head and shoulders bottom. And that would imply uh, the head and shoulders bottom. If you do the measurement, the, this head and shoulders bottom has a projection up around 5700. 
which is uh, yeah. about 20, 25% higher than where we are right Substantial. now. So and when, when Tim, next year would be an up year. Exactly. And um, when Tim says a sign of strength, folks, that's wide price spread accelerated volume. That's what you're looking for yep. going through here. You know what's so cool, Tim, man, that like right now, you know, we, we had the expansion going up. You know, been going sideways for five days, and normally that's what happens. You, you got to go sideways, folks, to build cause to basically get that type of energy. So it's pretty cool that we're building cause right underneath this thing. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, like, yeah. yeah that, that's exactly what I want to say, too, because you don't want to break that trend line until you got enough, you know, cause yes. and a sign of strength. So I'm thinking a sign of strength is going to come here. Um, I don't know, probably in December. You know, it's hard to say. I don't know what it's going to do. Sure. You know, it's so narrow, so quiet right now. And this is quiet before the storm, I think. No, listen. So, uh, and hey, window dressing, window dressing starts at the end of this week, man. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, maybe that, yeah. that that's it. Um, here, flip, flip the chart two real quick. Okay. And uh, this is kind of a little smaller group. And this was kind of, uh, uh, I'm actually trying to improve my point about this. Uh, uh, the SPX VIX ratio. Yes. And so you go you go back and look at times, other times when the ratio went higher or lower, and see what happened. But okay. If you go back. Uh, this chart goes back to 2019, I think. Uh, but anyhow, back in at the March of of 2000, you know the COVID decline. Yes. Well, that market was was making higher highs. You can see. Which is uh, yeah, uh, I see that the 2020 and that ratio was making lower highs, so that, that predicted that top. And that's the first MP circle, goes. folks. That's the first circle on this down here. Okay, cool. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, first one. I could have gone back further and, ma and made my point even more, but I'm the whole you. thing remains. Yeah, it kind of just repeats itself. Yes. So, but yeah, then this is a jan. This is a weekly chart instead of a monthly chart. But same thing happened. The SPs make higher highs. The ratio, which is a uh, the second window up from the bottom makes lower highs. That's bearish. Yeah. Then we go back and uh, we we repeat this again back in April May of this year. The ratio is making higher highs, and the SPX is just going sideways. Right. And uh, anyhow, that predicts the market's going to go higher. And now currently we're making higher highs again on the weekly chart. Uh, second window up from the bottom. And the ratio is actually at the moment, or the SPX at the moment, is still making lower highs. So um, when's the rally going to start? You know, it hasn't ended yet. Uh, so um, we may see a, a decent December is what it, what it kind of looks like. That's so, true. Santa no, Claus looks like he's going to be coming. <laughs> yeah, Santa Claus looks like he's coming. And actually, if you go all the way down to the bottom window, yeah, that's the VIX. Okay. And as long as the VIX kind of keeps making lower lows, and anything below 17, usually you're, you're in a trending market. And right. all the blue shaded area on this chart is when the VIX has been below um, 17. And, and we're, 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 we're like 12.68 right, right now, folks. 12.68. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I are going to be coming back. Um, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading, uh, trading up uh, 62. You get the NASDAQ up 7. S&P's off 3.5. Don't forget, folks, you can get hold of Tim at ord-oracle.com. Tim and I are going to be coming right back, folks. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Ord, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growl and problem with us. We have Tim going through these markets for us, folks. And the bottom line, you know, you've been listening to us uh, long enough here. Uh, Tim's been on quite a while now. He hit it in gold. Bottom line, they're hitting it in the S&P, and I can tell you, Tim, you know, uh, these ratios, I'm loving these ratios, man. <laughs> you know, we know that yeah. there's no crystal ball, but I can tell you something, man. These ratios are really cool, man. They, they just yeah. make a lot of yeah, sense. I, I, I discovered them years ago, and, and uh, well, let's, let's, let's go to another ratio. Uh, let's go oh. to chart three real quick. Okay. And uh, this is short term, so we, can't, we looked at the bigger picture, and then we went to a weekly chart. And now we're going to kind of getting down to more the nitty gritty, stuff. yeah, right. So, and uh, the, the middle window. Uh, this is a daily chart, and it's a, the middle window is the TLT BVIX ratio. Yes, and uh, it kind of really gives a good view on a real short term time frame. And so you got the bond market, and you got the VIX of the VIX kind of giving you uh, uh, a positive divergence or a negative divergence. And, uh, again, if you look at July, uh, this ratio is going 
going making lower highs while the S and P's are making higher highs. This is another reason why I got out in that July high. Yes, uh, got back in uh, the light blue area. Uh, the the market you can see there a little bit. Market was making lower lows, and that ratio was making higher lows, and that spurred the rally. Now you got a market that's kind of going sideways, and its ratio is going down. I think you're probably going to hit. Uh, one more new high here on a short-term basis, and you're probably going to see some sort of a consolidation probably the first or second week in December. Okay. And, and nothing serious, but if you look on the bottom chart, which is the SPY, there's a gap there at 4440, and uh, I think you may hit that gap. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. And um, and it needs, you know, this market's virtually gone straight up. Oh, yeah. No, and I'm with the, you there. So... You know, that'd be, that'd be quite a gap, pullback, though, 440. I get it. Yeah. I'm right. sorry, go ahead. No, I'm just saying that'd be you know, quite a pullback, 440 in the SPY when we're at 454. But I see that it's a monster gap. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, it's a monster gap there. And if you do, you know, I, I probably should have put a, a Fibonacci relationship in there, but it looks like about a 31.8% retracement, you know, if you kind of eyeball it. Yep, I'm going to um, do it right now for you. So, yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's. It's actually uh, that twenty. Yeah, it is. No, it is exactly what you said. Yeah, cool, man. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I was just eyeballing. I really yep. haven't done it, but I kind of watch Fibonacci relationships. So that'd be a bullish thing. That would imply the consolidation does happen. Done so far. I'm not saying it's going to happen. No, I'm with you. I'm starting to see signs that it may happen. I'll put it that way. Yes. And so you get a, a normal retracement of you know thirty percent, whatever. And that's probably the halfway point of the move up. Then I think you get to sign a strength, in my opinion, you know, kind of explosive move through that 4,600 area, which is where that neckline is. Right. And uh, you get you get the rally going and kicking off and, and whatever. But I think that's, that, things may change, but that's what a possible. So, Tim, you let's know, just, let's no just, let's, let's at just. At the moment to get out of the market. Right. You know, let's but just. We have a divergence here. Okay, cool. Let, let's so. just go over this one again, because this is really cool, folks. Okay. So. You know, we went through the head and shoulders, folks, okay? The head and shoulders, if we get the sign of strength, through the neckline, you know, bottom line, you're off to the races, right? The, the correlation here, however, not however, it, the correlation that Tim is saying is that he's showing you on this chart here that the first one that he got out, he was actually on the year then, okay? Because the ratio between the TLT and the VVIX was going down. And you can see this right now, it's starting to go down. So... What you're saying specifically, Tim, if this keeps going down, that would be giving us a heads up that, hey, the S&P could pull back and probably go after that gap, right? Yeah. Cool, yeah. man. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Nice. Okay. So, but, but I think there's one little bit more rally here on the S&Ps because, you know, we really haven't touched a new high yet. Yes. Now no. like to see it touch a new high and that ratio not touch a new high. Right. No, I, I get so. it. I get it. I'm just trying to, you know... Really, it was so cool about what you're doing too, Tim. Okay, is that it's not only just folks. Okay, that you can say that. Okay, one reason when some of these ratios are going higher, what he's specifically saying too is that okay, we get some divergence here. This ratio here, you know, bottom line can say that okay, we're going to come. It it's getting a little bit weaker, and we may, may go after that gap. So yeah, no, it, this is great information, man. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this, so I'm thinking, you know, it's, it's time to get bullish. And I'm thinking time to relax. I'm, I'm still in that long position, so, right? But you know, that's what that may develop. You know, you know, maybe Thursday we'll have more information what what to do next. No, and, for uh, sure. No, listen, so, I am too. I and I know what you're saying. It's hard to stay long this long, folks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know it. But you know, back in the day, I'd be way out. You know, but, yeah. you know, as you get older, you kind of think, yeah, let's, you know, the only thing is let the profits run. So what's that? there's no you doubt know, this because is a screaming rally off the lows, you know, uh, they're, they're going to, you know, they're going to make the shorts pay. They, you know, they are. So, and it's, yeah. it's the right time of the year. There's a lot of things that are lined up with, with me between the interest rate structure and the dollar. They're both interest rates are going down. The dollar is going down. That's telling me that, hey, that that puts breathing room into this market in a monster way. I mean, it's a, it's a huge dynamic change. This is a, a change of, uh, you know, well, 12, 20 months, you know, 20 months. The interest rate structure has been going up. Well, you get a turn like yep. that. And that's when, when we were. Do you remember when Greenspan? And Ruben came on. That's when you had to get off the air saying, 
Hey, I, I, I gotta go buy this thing. I gotta go buy this thing. That was uh, right. That was live. Yeah. yeah. All right. That was what ninety six or something. And or? That, that was all about interest rates, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That That's was ninety eight. I think it was. The, it was the agent contagion. It was the agent yeah. contagion. I think. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. should we go to number two now, Tim? Yeah. Let's just go to uh, chart number three. Actually, we were on the air. and We talked about it, and I actually want to go back to this chart. Back in August. I was saying the low's probably in, and you remember me saying that. Yes. Anyhow, you, you oh, the, what, which first off, what, what chart do I supposed to have up, Tim? Huh? What chart do I supposed to have up? Okay, the chart number four. Four. Okay, good. I got. It. Okay, good. Okay, cool. Yep. All right. Well, anyhow, the, that first chart is August twenty, August, August twenty third of August. I said. You know, if you, uh, uh, the top window is the RSI for the bullish percent index slash GDX ratio. And I said, once you go below 30 and close above 30, the bottom's usually the end. Exactly. I said that on the radio. Well, if you look right there, it went above 30, and again, it went below 30 again and went above 30. Right. So, so we got that buy signal back in August, but the... Uh, then the October did the exact same thing. The ratio went back below 30 again and turned back up. So it was kind of a little whipsaw, which is kind of an unusual signal. If you look at all the previous signals, usually when you go below 30 and back above 30, the bottom is in. Okay. This particular time, it went below 30 and above 30 twice. So you got two signals. You got an August 23rd signal and you got an October 4th signal. Well, the October 4th signal was the bottom signal. And that's where the market, you know, now is is, is pretty much screaming up. Oh, but, it's screaming, man! Um, that gold market screaming. Yeah, it's screaming. So it, it was kind of a little bit, whip, a little bit of a whipsaw, but but then again, it was still bullish just two times in a row. Yeah, just, now stay right there, roll, folks. We got one bullish. segment left. Tim will go over these last charts for us, and don't forget, you can get hold of Tim at ord-oracle.com. Tim and I come right back, folks. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. So, Tim, I, the, the chart I have up is the uh, RSI. Should I go to the, the first one or the the last one? Uh, so that was chart four. Yep. Uh, we just went over, which was the daily. And chart five, which is the last one, Okay. is is the weekly. It's the same, the same setup, but you do it on a weekly chart. I see. Okay. And, uh, and uh, the only thing... No, there's nothing bad about this chart, but that chart, it's the same thing. The RSI goes below 30, then closes above 30, you get the buy signal. And we've got a buy signal on August 28, 2023. And if you notice, the, if you look at the, um, the, I got some red printing there. I see it, yes. Yeah, when, yeah, when that chart, when this chart triggers, it's, it's mostly time the, the uptrend starts several weeks later okay and so it just warned you where the bottom is and it worked to, actually as it should uh, sometimes it hits the bottom perfectly but a lot of times the market will flip sideways uh, which the last four signals did before the rally actually began uh, so you got a you got the daily given a buy twice and you got the weekly uh, given a buy once and all the signals uh, pretty I think it was a of all the signal, I think it was a 90% chance the signals will work. But it did give this area from August until October a very important time frame for the market that it was making a bottom. And actually, in my opinion, has made a bottom, especially today, if you look at the market. And, well, you know what's so cool, uh, Tim? What's so cool? I'm going to put this chart up. we only got a few seconds. But you're talking about a sign of strength in a GDX today. It's finally got legs, man. I mean, it's, it's blowing right. away the whole consolidation of four months and you got 32 million shares the most we've ever done on a swing point up there you got uh, 20 29 was the last one we're going to do like 33 today and the rest of them were 21 so pretty cool man yeah right and you gotta you know, but the pattern was forming is head and shoulders bottom i think today is breaking up the neckline yes you no know, that big time you got a bunch of highs there around 30 big uh, time and so we're breaking it with the finest strength today so it's a beautiful burn. thing well, listen, man, it's always a pleasure, Tim. We'll talk to you Thursday. Uh, and always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Jo uh, join Tommy tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, folks. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Great. Thank you. Thanks.